Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do Power BI tutorial number six. So today I'm going to show you how to use summarize and union DAX functions to create customized tables. And also the subtopics wise, I'm create I'm uh, show you how to use minim and max functions as well. So if you are a first visitor to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this in Power BI and also some new uh, trends new uh, updates of power bi so let's see uh, how to do this uh, task uh, today so in my today's tutorial so this will be my data sheet so it has name month marks and subject columns so in today's tutorial what i want is i want to get the each name subject and the maximum or the minimum maximum marks and the minimum marks so i want to extract these records and add it to a separate table so this will be my task so for that i want to filter the minimum and maximum marks per student per subject so that will be my task so my output uh, will show like this so it has you know name marks subject so this marks should be minimum and maximum so that will be my task today right so in design wise so how to do this so we have the data source then we create a temp table with all the minimum records name subject and the minimum marks so that should be the three columns that i want and then again create a temp table with all the maximum records right so that maximum tables also contain name subject and the maximum marks then i join this min and max tables and then i get the output table so that will be my uh, design today right so next we will see how to do this uh, in power bi how to develop this in power bi using summarize and union dax function so we'll check right so before going into power bi dashboard so first we check uh, what uh, in the documentation what summarize function does so basically it ret returns a summary value summary table of the requested totals over a set of groups that mean it uh, it what it does is basically it does a group by uh, part so basically we have to include the columns and then we have to write the expression so in my example in the expression i write min or max so that is what uh, a summarize uh, function does so when it comes to union function so what it does is so basically creates a union table from a pair of tables so basically it connects two tables so so that's why i i'm going to use these functions for the today's examples now we go to the power bi and see how we can develop these functions right so now i'm in the power bi dashboard first i include the data source here for the clear visibility so i add uh, marks months sorry months and name and then subject and marks columns here so marks should be uh, like this that we want so then we'll uh, edit this a bit uh, to have a better visualization so here I format and increase the size of the values so then it shows say 12 right so this will be my data table source table right so now I'm going to write the summary function or, or I'm going to try, try to create a minimum table for so that I go to data here and I create new table right so I'm going to write it I say mean table and I say summarize so then I have to uh, give the table so that means sheet 1 then I have to give the column so I want the name and also the subject so that's a combination that I want and then I have to use the uh, minimum expression for that I first define the name of the column that you know, I say min marks and then I have to give the expression expression wise I say min sheet marks right now my uh, minimum table is being created right so as you can see now in the minimum table only the minimum marks for name and subject combination will be displayed so that what is does is the group by function as I mentioned right so I'll create the max table as well so I create a new table 
I see Max Table Say summary Summarize Then sheet 1 will be the table Then original data source Then I say here name Subject and then I have to say here The name of the column that I want max marks and then the expression would be max and then I can write sheet 1 marks right so now my max table also being created so as you can see now uh, for the name and subject combination all the max marks are displaying here so as you can see those are big numbers right let's see now uh, we have created both the tables that we want now we will try to uh, uh, develop the union function right for that also I create a new table right uh, right I say union table so that I directly use union function right so then I add the table one the uh, temporary tables temporary mean table and then I uh, union it with temporary max table right so as you can see now both tables are connected as you can see the first table column name is displaying here so that is that you need to know in here right let's see how we can uh, apply this in the dashboard then see how it looks right so now I just add few tables here so I'll first add the minimum table so I say name subject marks here right so as you can see it will display the minimum table right likewise you can deploy or uh, yeah, that you can show the max table as well so it's just a matter of adding it uh, here and then you can add the values of it name subject and then the max marks right so that also you can add like this and then when so we'll see the union table as well so for that let's select the union table right I'll minimize this a bit right so then uh, I add the table name subject marks right so it comes the total mark so then I have to correct it uh, I don't summarize so now as you can see the desired output is being developed as per the uh, assignment or the task that we uh, had in the beginning right so uh, we'll summarize what we have learned now right guys so the tutorial is completed so today you have learned uh, how to use summarize and union functions and create customized tables so you can do this so you can use this for any purpose that when you are when you wanted to uh, create uh, intermediate tables and also uh, you have learned very simple things like how to use minimum and maximum functions as well right for thanks for watching my video please uh, subscribe to my channel for more updates uh, uh, like this so i'll publish more tutorials in future as well so keep in touch thanks for watching